Welcome to Flutter Teacher. We have seen this text constructor in the last session. In this session, we'll talk about the text.reach constructor. So without wasting time, let's get started. Text.reach is a name constructor available in the text class, which creates a text widget using the inline span. When we use this constructor, we have to pass a single style for the text and whatever style you pass, it will be used for entire text available inside this text constructor. It means there is no way to apply different style for the single text. On other hand, when we use this text.reach constructor, it's possible to create a parts of text so that we can have a different style for the individual parts in the text. Let's understand this one with some examples. Consider I want to create a UI where I want to message hello in this specific style and I want to message Siddharth with this style. You might say it's possible using the option called column. We can create two different texts and we can apply two different styles. But if we use text.reach, it's possible to create this specific design simply by using a single widget. Again, we can create the clickable text using the text.reach and moreover, we can add any specific widget inside a text simply by using the text.reach. Now let's understand how to create this specific design by using the text.reach. First of all, I will focus on the first one that is hello and the message Siddharth. We have the simple Flutter application here. We have the material.dart file imported here. We have the main function inside which I'm calling this run app function and inside the run app i'm passing a widget called my app this my app is created by extending the stateless widget this is what a constructor we have inside this we have the build method for this build method i'm retaining the material widget as a root of this specific ui then inside this we have the option called debug show check more panel falls and as a home of this material app i'm passing the scaffold now for this scaffold i will use the property called body inside this body let me use the widget called center so that i can align everything inside the center and for this child i'm passing the constructor called text.reach this text.reach constructor requires the first parameter in the form of inline span this particular first parameter is the positional parameter that's why it's compulsory for us this inline span is not actually a widget Rather, it is a normal class. Using it, we can create a span of contain which forms the part of a paragraph. For this inline span class, we have two famous subclasses, the text span and the widget span. First of all, let me use a text span here. Now inside this text span, we have to specify the property text, which is actually a text property that requires a text that is a string from you. So let me pass the text in the form of hello here. Let me save the code and look at the changes on screen. We can use the style property. For the style property, we have to pass the object of text style. We have seen how to use this text style in our last session. So if you want to explore more about this text style, go ahead and watch that video. Link is there in the description. Now in this case, I'm simply using a font size. So I will use the size of font as let's say 20 here and let me pass some color for this i can write colors dot i will use the color which let's say the black 54. when we look at this text span constructor it looks like the normal text that has the text and the style but if you explore the property for children then we realize that this specific text span can have children and which actually accepts the list of inline span itself that is, it's possible for us to create the tree of text. For this children property, let me pass a list. And as an element of list, I'm passing again here the text span constructor. And inside this text span constructor, we have to pass a text property. Here, I will pass the string called Siddharth. Then, let me pass the style here. For applying the style, again, we need to use style option. And let's pass this text style object here. Inside this text style, I'm passing the font size. So let's say I'm writing font size here 30 and let me apply some color. So in this case, I will apply the color as let's say colors dot black. I will use your 87. So let me save this and you can see the changes on screen. Now to get this with that in the next line, simply use slash n at the end of hello and let me save it and you can see we have got this specific widget here. 
Now let's understand how to create a clickable text by using the text.reach constructor. For this, I will use this specific design. Let me delete everything inside this center widget. At the side of this center widget, again I am passing the text.reach. For this text.reach, it's important to pass the first property in the form of the inline span. So here I am passing the object of text span here. For this text span, we have to pass a property called text and let me pass the text that is don't have an account. Let me format the code and save this one. Let me apply the style for this one. So we can pass the style in the form of text style. Then for this text style, I'm just using the option called font size. And let me pass the font size as 20 pixel. Save this and look at the changes. For this text span, we have the property called children. And inside this children, I'm passing the text span again. So let me use here text span. And for this text span, we have the option called text. And let me pass here the text as sign up. Save this one. And we need to add some gap after this question mark. So let's add the space here. Now let me make this text a little bold and apply the color here. For this, we need to specify the style here. And we have to pass the style in the form of text style. And let me pass here font weight so that I can use here font weight as font weight dot bold. And let me pass the red color here so I can write color and let's pass the color in the form of colors dot red. Okay, format the code and save and look at the changes on screen. For this text span constructor, we have got a property called recognizer using which it's possible to create the clickable text. So for this recognizer property, I'm passing the object of tab gesture recognizer. If you want to create double tappable text, instead of using the tab gesture recognizer, we can use the double tap gesture recognizer. Let me create the object and for this object, I'm using the cascade operator and there's a property called on tap here. So let me use here on tap property and for this on tap, let me pass a function here. So I'm passing a function here and as we are passing value here, we cannot use the const here. So we need to remove the const from this constructor and as it is requiring const here, so let's pass const here and again, we can specify the const for this constructor also. Inside this on tap, I'm simply writing a print and inside this print, I can write you tapped on sign up. Save this code. Now let me open the debug console. For this, I'm using shortcut control plus J and let me erase everything from this debug console. When I tap on this sign up option, you can see I'm getting the output you tapped on sign up. Now let me explain how we can add any widget inside the text by using the text.reach constructor. Let me close this debug console and let me delete everything inside the center widget. So let me select the content and delete this. Now for this center widget, again I'm passing the object of text.reach and as we all learn inside this text.reach, either we have to pass the object of this text span or widget span. In this case, I will pass the object of text span. For this, I need to use the object of text span here. Now inside this text span, we need to pass object property called text here. For this text, I will use the option I here. Let's save this and look at the change. So I got I. Let's add some extra space. For this text span, let me use a children property. So I will write here children property. And as a first children, instead of using the text span, now I will use the widget span here. For this widget span, we have the property called child and as a child of this widget span, we can pass the widget so that we can add any kind of widget inside the text itself. So in this case, I'm passing an icon here. So let me just write here icon and I will write here icons dot the favorite outline. Let me format the code and save it properly. We can even change the color of this icon. For this, I'm using color option here. And let's pass the colors dot blue in this case. Save it and look at the changes. After this heart symbol, I need a text called letter. For this, after this widget span, I need to use another span in the form of a text span. So let's use here text span. And inside this text span, let's pass the property text. So here I will pass the letter. Save this one and look at the changes.
The observable thing here is for this text flutter, we haven't specified any style, but you can see this flutter has got the style of this parent itself. So if I change the color here, let's say if I pass red color here, let's say the colors dot red, you can observe here both this text I and the flutter, they are now appeared in the red color. So make sure that if you want to have some common property for entire text, just use this style and pass whatever common properties that you want and only this specific text or specific part that you want with different property just create the text span or you can use the widget span and apply the specific style as per your requirement that's it for this video see you guys in the next video if you really like the way i'm explaining the concept then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos